the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Today we celebrate the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Year. This Mass is offered in thanksgiving for Geralda Sutton, who is celebrating his birthday. We also pray for Cordelia Sutton in thanksgiving. We pray for Mel Adams' intentions. We pray for Raven Sarjo intentions. We pray for Mary Capede Longmans, who is celebrating her birthday this coming Tuesday on the 27th of July. We pray for those that are sick in our parish, Richard Leroux, Joanne Adams. We pray for Giovanni Wade Peterson, Margaret Foster, Rashma Kubi, Rita Wilson, we pray for Mr. and Mrs. De Bruyne. We pray for Catherine Lyon. We pray for the intentions of Baldwin Hartley, who is celebrated, who celebrated his birthday, and for all the intentions of their parish. We are sinners. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that, are, that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, at Gabion, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give you. And Solomon said, O oh Lord my God, you have made your servant king in place of David my father. Although I am but a little child, I do not know how to go out or come in. And your servant is in the midst of your people 
whom you have chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered or counted for multitude. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding mind to govern your people, that I may discern between good and evil. For who is able to govern this great people of yours? It pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this, and God said to him, Because you have asked this, and have not asked for yourself long life or riches or the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself understanding to discern what is right, behold, I now do according to your word. Behold, I give you a wise and discerning mind, so that none like you has been before you, and none like you shall arise after you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh Lord, how I love your law. O oh Lord, how I love your law. I have said, O oh Lord, my portion is to obey your words. The law from your mouth means more to me than large quantities of silver and gold. O oh Lord, how I love your law. Let your merciful love console me by your promise to your servant. Show me compassion that I may live, for your law is my delight. O oh Lord, how I love your law. That is why I love your commands more than finest gold, why I rule my life by your precepts and hate false ways. O oh Lord, how I love your law. Your decrees are wonderful indeed, therefore my soul obeys them. The unfolding of your word gives light and understanding to the simple. O oh Lord, how I love your law. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, we know that in everything God works for good for those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. And those whom he predestined, he also called, and those whom he called, he also justified, and those whom he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Ale, 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 luya, ale, 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 luya, ale, 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 luya, ale, luya, ale. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who, on finding one pearl of great value, went and sold all that he had and bought it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today I want to start my homily with a prayer. And this prayer is called Serenity Prayer. It goes thus God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and the wisdom 
to know the difference. This prayer, I think it is inspired by the first reading where King Solomon asked God to give him the gift of wisdom, asked God to give him the gift to know the difference. Now, think about it. If God had to come to me and you and ask us to ask something from him and that he's going to give us by show of hands. I know even if you are at home, you can lift up your hands. I can see you. How many of us would have asked for money? Wow, so many people. How many would have asked for good health? Mm -hmm. And how many would have asked that they go back and become young? How many of you now would have asked God to be sizes 28, 30, 32? Mm. So many of you, eh? And how many would have asked God for a good, solid relationship with Him? How many would have asked God to give them that zeal, that fire, to spend time with Him in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, or to spend time with Him in His Bible? Because I believe that the Word of God is, is a treasure. There is a song that used to go like this, Oh, treasure! Oh, what a wonderful treasure. The, that is the Bible. It is the treasure of God. How many of us would have asked for that gift? If God would come to us, some of us sadly would have asked God, I want to die. I am tired of this life that I'm living. I know there are legends, some of us here, who would ask, God, please, let all the liquor stores be open. <laughs> we pray that the good Lord may be with us. I know people sincerely would have asked that the COVID-19 would be gone. And I, as a priest, I have struggled to look at what I would have asked. Probably I would have asked God to heal COVID-19 or to give us a vaccine. But like Solomon, all of us, we need to ask for wisdom. When I was first appointed in this parish of St. Catherine of Siena and St. Eugene the Masnot, I knew how big it was. Like Solomon, who knew that his father David had done so much, and he knew that he was coming after somebody who has done so much. He needed wisdom to continue with that legacy. I, as a priest, myself and Father Wonga, we needed also the Holy Spirit. We needed the wisdom so that we can lead you. And it is our prayer that we lead you well. May the good Lord bless all of us. And we proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our 
our say he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the dead day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our cries. We pray for the church all over the world, that the good Lord may help us flourish, even during this time when we are persecuted by COVID-19. Lord, hear us. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our cries. Let us pray for the frontline workers. We pray for doctors, nurses, we pray for policemen, we pray for people that have the duty to be with all those that are sick. We pray in a special way for priests who are burying week in, week out. We pray that you also, good Lord, protect them from COVID-19 and that without fear, they may also give sacraments to your people in need. Lord, hear us. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our cries. We pray for people who have asked the Holy Mass to be celebrated today, those that are celebrating their birthdays, those that are giving God thanks for all the gift that God has showered them with, for those that have personal intentions. We pray for those that are sick. We pray for those that we've, been, we've buried in our parish. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those that care for those that are sick. In a special way, we pray for Deacon Wally, who is taking care of her sick wife, that you, good Lord, may bring him back at the altar of the Lord. We ask Mother Mary to intervene. We ask Mother Mary to pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour for our dead. Amen. And these prayers we make in the most powerful name of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God.
forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash away my iniquity, O Lord, and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice into our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace this most sacred mistress may sanctify our present way of life through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is fully right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jew of all, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Booty and Duncan our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Father Patrick Mokotoma Selwai, Father Pumlani Charles Ndlovu, Remember also Father Martin Kambule. Remember Father Zabambanjo. Remember Father Sixtus Mwathodi. Remember Father Stanley Masolompani. Remember Father Bisto Maloza. Remember Father Kini Mansubisi Shuman. Remember all the priests. Remember the religious brothers and sisters who have passed on. Remember the faithful people of God who have passed on especially the people that we've laid to rest the past week, whom you've called from this world to yourself, grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and is so informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say it to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. At home, I want to greet all of you. Nowadays is like this, eh? Nowadays is like this. May you be saved. May you be safe also from this COVID-19. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring it in our life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that thou should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ heal us, save us, and protect us from COVID-19. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and never forget all his benefits. Let us pray. We have consumed, O oh Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank each and every one of you for your generosity, for your support, thanks to what God has given us, the PPC, the PFC, and the lovely parishioners. May you have a beautiful Sunday and a beautiful week ahead. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.